Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to North Yorkshire. I'm in the Yorkshire Dales again. It's quite dull and overcast today, but the sun is trying to burn through. It's meant to come out a bit later, so fingers crossed. It's quite breezy again, as you can hear. But uh, yeah, we're at uh, West Stonesdale. I've met up with good mate Andrew, who's already steamed off ahead. We are making our way to Keld, a little village called Keld, and it's got several little waterfalls around it. But uh, Andrew spotted one here, so I've just met him. And uh, we're going to check out this little waterfall. There's a nice little stone bridge. So uh, let's go and see what we can find. Well, what a cracking little spot this is. I was about 20 minutes behind Andrew and we were due to meet in the next village called Keld. There's a couple of waterfalls scattered around Keld village. And uh, he rang up and he said, we're not gonna meet in Keld. I've stopped en route. I found a lovely little stone bridge with a nice waterfall flowing under it. Let's have a go. And I said, right, I'll see you there. And crikey, was he right? It's absolutely stunning. As you can see, the sun's burnt through the cloud now and it's really bright. So I've got to be really careful that I don't blow out them high tones on the, the nice frothy water. So I've got the 10 stop on, very much similar to at Scalibur Foss last week. 10 stop on, I've got the variable polarizer on. I set the focus manually first, then set the polarizer to get all the sheen off the water. And you can see the nice brown peaty colors. Obviously it, it saturates the colors as well, which is great with the variable polarizer. Then I threaded the 10 stop on, which allows me to have a much longer exposure time. And it's round about 50 seconds at the moment, which is about right. Can't go too long because I soon blow out the tones in the water otherwise on the white froth. So yeah, I'm at I'm on the 70 to 200. I'm at about 80 mil, something like that. Say 50 seconds. I started at F11 and I noticed that the bridge was slightly soft. It's about 30 yards back from, from the waterfall itself. So I knocked it up to F16 and that seems to have just brought the bridge sharpness just up a little bit. I don't mind if there's a bit of drop off. So yeah. I've composed it so that this, there's no sky in the frame. It just sort of, because it's so bright today, it does, it did take my eye straight out and, and uh, made me look at the sky. So I eliminated the sky. So I've just got a nice bit of hill before the bridge and then leads your eye into the waterfall. So yeah, I focused on the waterfall itself, midway up on one of the slabs, manually focused. And uh, yeah, it's making a lovely frame, I think. So uh, job's good and that's the first frame in the bag. 
there's so much round here. I don't know if we're going to end up in, in Keld or not yet, but uh, who really minds? I don't mind. What, whatever we see, some lovely stone walls, we might find a nice barn or something. But uh, anyway, I'll pop this frame up now, guys, and I hope you like it. As you can see, Andrew is well kitted out for a proper job out in the wild. I think we might plan a, a trip up to Scotland perhaps, but uh, see how things go mm. when we're allowed out. Okay. Scotland, Highlands. There's so much kit in this discovery. <laughs> I'm just going to drop that milk in that fridge. Posh fridge. Andrew doesn't need a house. <laughs> Far too posh. Puts my Volkswagen to shame. So yeah, it weren't a bad little find that little waterfall. I was gonna, I did, I did stay up there about half a mile, and I, I pulled up there waiting for it. And I thought well, I'll just go a bit further, and as I crossed the bridge there, I just happened to look. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. And I thought. Oh, yeah, that could be quite interesting. I mean, we've been up and down this this uh, this road, you know, quite a few times when we've been out camping, etc. But when you're driving, sometimes you never just you never do look at what's inside of you. Not when you look. Not when you're out to look for a spot like no. that. You'd drive no. straight over that. That's right. You would. You would. You'd look and think. And it would just yeah. a stream. Yeah, it was just by chance. Out. And it were a nice chance because there'd be nobody here. No. Fed it to ourselves. Took some nice images. Yeah. Yeah. Spot on. Our jobs are good, and yeah. Jobs are good and yeah. <laughs> Jobs are good and Where cheers. Where's my coffee? <laughs> yeah, where's your coffee? Oh, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding in amongst the discovery. Yeah. We've only travelled about a mile down this lane and uh, we've come across a lovely valley. Obviously we've been following the valley along towards Keld and there's, there must be 15, 20 barns and little yards and farmhouses scattered along this, this valley with some lovely stone walls. And we've come across one track that S bends its way up the hill from one barn to another and I think it works all right, but uh, just handheld, 70 to 200. I've got the, very, uh, the image stabiliser on I'm at about 1 40th, so it's okay anyway. Kept it at F11 for a bit of depth. And uh, yeah, nice scenes. I'll pop the images up now, guys.
Well, we've made it down to the first waterfall in Keld, but it's just not working. Such tricky conditions now, it's so harsh, the light is. Clear blue skies, the sun's shining brightly. It's a beautiful waterfall, but just not on a day like today, unfortunately. The slabs are a nice light colour. There's hardly any moss anywhere. No colour surrounding the waterfall at all. I've got the 10 stop on, variable polarizer, but it's just not really looking that clever, to be honest. But at least it's a recce run for for maybe another day when it's, you know, quite flat and overcast perhaps. Or even later on in spring when there's some leaf on the trees, it will probably work a lot better because the leaf, the nice green tones will surround the water itself. But uh, obviously there's not a lot of water running through here at the minute and all these slabs are usually covered in winter. But uh, tried it on the 35mm with the 10 stop and the variable polarizer, but it's just lacking colour I'm afraid. But uh, not to worry, it's a good record run anyway for, for next time, good scouting run, but um, anyway, I'll pop the frame up now guys, I say it's not that clever, but be interesting to see what you think, let me know in the comments below. We've made our way up the valley slightly and found a lovely waterfall now with lots of nice green moss so there's a lot more colour up here. Makes a really nice composition. A lot of the rock is covered in moss so that's loads better than the last fall that we've just photographed. Unfortunately as you can see really harsh light still and half the waterfall is nicely exposed and half of it is in really really dark shadow so really difficult to expose but there is a few clouds floating about so we're going to hang about for a bit and, and see if we can get a nice equal amount of light on the whole whole fall itself and then have a go in sort of half an hour or so perhaps but we have just bumped into a fellow photographer and youtuber in fact he's just started out his name's phil simpson he does quite a lot of drone flying over the waterfalls and stuff so i'll pop his youtube link in the description below and uh, do pop over to his channel and and give him a subscribe and a like on his video so he's just started out so uh, yeah he'd appreciate some love from you guys and a really nice chat with He's um, flying his drone over a lot of the waterfalls around here, so I uh, think his channel's going to uh, grow quite nicely. So uh, anyway, going to make a coffee, I think, see if any clouds float over. If we can get the light right on this falls, it should be a cracking frame, so fingers crossed. Well, the waiting has paid off. The sun's made its way further round, so it's shining directly onto the waterfall now because we've got quite a few oak trees at the base of the waterfall that were hiding half the light. And as I said earlier, half the waterfall was in shadow. It's all exposed correctly now, top to bottom. And not only that, but we've been really lucky and there's a little prism type rainbow appeared. And over the last 10, 20 minutes, it's, as the sun's been moving, that prism or that rainbow, it's just been rising in front of the waterfall. So we've really filled our boots. I've got some nice low angles on the 16 to 35 looking up with some blue sky and the, the side lit oak trees. It's a lovely composition low down to the waterfall, making it as large as you can on the wide angle at 35mm. Shot that at F11, ISO 100, about 30 second exposure, between 25 and 30 second exposure, so as not to blow out the tones because it is really harsh light. And then jumped back on the 70 to 200 at about 100mm and got some nice depth again with that rainbow in and yeah made some lovely compositions we've really filled our boots so uh, yeah jobs are good and just goes to show that if you hang about sometimes it pays off i'll pop some images up now guys
<laughs> Whoa. After joining. Yeah. I've got bloody murder of paint. <laughs> Oh, what a fantastic day we've had again in the Yorkshire Dales, absolutely superb. Had to hang about a bit for that light to work into our favour, but that rainbow just topped it off for us, didn't it? It did, it absolutely did. Absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah. yeah, fully enjoyable day. Another couple of waterfalls ticked off the list, and a bit more practice on the long exposures, so, yeah, jobs are good and Comment below, guys, let us know what you think to them images. Say, that second image that we took of the waterfall was a bit bland, bit too bright not a lot of color but let us know what you think it is what it is you've got to you've got to work with what you've got in front of you so uh yeah you have haven't you anyway and if you haven't subscribed to the channel <laughs> please do all <laughs> likes accepted <laughs> yeah like and subscribe right i'm carrying on on the iphone because the battery's just gone flat on the m50 i've been doing that much filming on it so but, uh, what we were saying uh yeah. Put a like on if you like what we've done today. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. And do you know what, guys? Oh. I've enjoyed having a really good day, aren't we, Mark? <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable day. So, yeah, appreciate the like, guys. If you can remember to hit the like button, let YouTube know that you're enjoying the content on the channel. And subscribe if you haven't yet, even though Andrew's already said it three times. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. Catch up soon. <laughs>